Previously on Control. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. Oh, hello. Oh. I can't believe they keep that thing here. I think I may have to kill it. Who knows? Oh, I could just use. I could just do this. Bye. Oh, damn it. I think there's an. I think there's more soldiers around here. Hold on. Ah, yes, up there. Have that. I think it just wipe out all three of them. Oh, you're gonna die after this. Something, something, uh, oh, transition, right. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden, hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. Hell yeah, we gotta talk. Uh-oh. More of you? Yep, the hiss are here. Really? This and huh, yeah, boy. Let's grab this bench, throw it over there. Do people like stop with stop with your shenanigans, please? We have that. And that. Yeah. There we go. Are we done? Are we good? Any more? Okay, the lifts, the elevators here, but I want to see what's around. Oh no, this is um. Oh, this is the place that was blocked off by uh, the hiss blocks earlier. Okay. And now we go down, I think. Ooh, I played this game for three hours yesterday. It was great. I love it. And now we are back in. Stuck in, as it were. But, wait. Hang on a second. <laughs> I didn't know elevators could have doors side by side like that. Marshall is waiting for you in the luck lab, just down the hall. All right, whoa, man, these, yeah, these guys are set up. That's good. Okay, let me just quickly cleanse, claim this. And for those of you who are new to this, control points like these, these are basically fast travel points. They allow me to travel from place to place, upgrade his, upgrade Jesse's abilities, um, get side missions, and build new weapon forms and mods. Uh, the side missions are these. And uh, right now, I don't have enough to construct the minigun, unfortunately, or the sniper rifle. So we're just going to have to go on. Go on for a while. What the hell? Is that a lucky cat? I'm not sure if that. I, I guess. Oh, that's why they call this the luck lab. So all of these should be like lucky things, I guess. What the hell? Oh, 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 that's a four leaf clover. There you are. I'm uh, starting to worry. Hi. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Phaeton. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah is dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. It makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're going to survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone, not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Wonderful. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Lucky horseshoe, huh? In this place that can improve our luck. We ought to try it out. You know, just in case. Do not Another? touch anything. <laughs> Dude, he says don't touch anything, but here I am just fiddling with everything. Irish intensifies. Yeah, hi. Hi, Perry. Good to see you. So, yeah, the hiss are... Whoa. Wait, are those allies? No, those are entirely enemies. I see rangers on the Okay, so the big globe thing heals the enemies as they uh, as they fight. Unfortunately, 
Uh. Ah! I can't see. Missed. Stupid idiot. Trying to use rockets at close range. Come on. Give me you. And me. Yeah. Bye. Okay, there's more of them. Oh, these are the explodey ones again. No, you stay away from them. Uh-oh. Uh. I think the other guy's also dead. <laughs> I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Damn it! Oh, that sucks. What? Oh no. Ah. Oh, ow. Jerk. Oh, he's got a shield. You. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 that's a kinetic shield. Uh oh, that's not what I meant to do. Run! What happened to all my allies? Are they all dead? Here, have that. Uh, he's got his shield up again, and also he's got help. Excuse me for a second. Here, have that. Piece of the ground. Yeah, the destruction physics in this game are amazing. It's like I can just grab pieces of the ground like that, fling them at people. Oh, wait, hold on. Here, have that. Die, thank you. Let's just get rid of your lack. Huh. Eat it. Yeah. Boop. Nice. Okay, now I can cleanse this stupid thing. Ugh. Four viewers. Nice. Good to see you all. Welcome to Control. I'm tuning on from my journey through this... Whatever this place is last night. Give me control of my mouse. Thank you. Okay, so there is a division here called the Ritual Labs. I don't think I'm able to get there now. Oh. I can. Hmm. Pain elevators. <laughs> okay. So I don't know whether going here is a good idea, considering that this is a tiny bit off the beaten path. Not where I'm actually supposed to go, I don't think. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. this is not where I'm supposed to go. But uh, it's good to explore, I guess, considering this is a game all about exploring. Ah, oh no, it's, okay, so this is just another another office that looks over the, uh, the place that I was. So this isn't a lab at all. What the hell? <laughs> Whatever. You could, well, let's, just keep, let's just keep moving. Okay, man, this I, I just love this game. I I literally can't stop thinking about the thinking about just playing this game until I can finish it. Just exploring everything and doing everything. Continue on towards Darling's HRA lab. Okay, so the HRAs were the weird vest things that those people were wearing that protected them against the hiss. The hiss being the red ominous light and the source of all those enemies that I've been fighting throughout the game. It's like monitoring equipment. Yeah, I mean it is a lab. So the HRA is apparently the lab? apparently protects people okay. from. Uh, I just like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them, and most of the things around here. Everything is sealed off, though. I if wonder Marshall why. If can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead or taken over by the hiss. Yeah, assuming Doctor Darling isn't taken over by the hiss. This is a oh hello uh. Oh, I gotta use my arrow keys for this. Ah! Okay, uh... Okay, so I- but I need the thing to be on the bottom. There we go. There's a door there too. I'm assuming that way is progress. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna head this way first. Uh, okay, hold on. Excuse me. Sorry. What was that? 
Was that noise? Did you, you guys hear it? Like, oh, okay, I can. Oh, I need to. I need the flight powers to get up there. Oh well. <laughs> I can't fly just yet. It's not like the trailers where everything is given to Jesse at the start. You led me here. Any idea how to make it work? Yes, Polaris. Polaris being this weird blue circle thing that lives inside Jesse's head after the stuff that happened to her as a kid with her brother Dylan. That's why she's here, looking for her brother. Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Let's grab all of these punch cards. I'm assuming these punch cards are here for a reason. And at the... Oh! I thought that was a punch card. Uh, our way in too strong. It's out, changing variables. So these punch cards, these machines, uh, I'm assuming there's five of them. Each machine has to be linked. It's Yeah, it's all linked. So, okay, I picked up three there, one there. So, wait, hold on. I should have, I only have four punch cards now, right? Yeah, I only got four. Where's the fifth so, one? You need to find all the punch cards. Yeah, I know that, Marshall. I'm looking. I'm looking, man. I'm looking. Uh, okay, hold on. Maybe it's in this next room. Maybe it's up here. Maybe it's up here. The last punch card I'm looking for is up here somewhere. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so... <clears throat> configurations. So this is a big big puzzle. No, this is not a good thing for me to wake up to. My brain isn't working yet. Uh, so this is... Okay, so this, this card has to be... I think one of these? Either that one that looks like a nuclear symbol, or that one, the shaded cube. Uh, let's put that one. Wait, hold. Yeah, let's put that one there first, and then we'll see what becomes of it later. So let's go back down here and put that, put in the rest of these cards. Um, this one is goes up to. Okay, it's, so it's that lower right corner. The lower left corner is that one. Ah, okay, no, wait, no, the, the machines Each have numbers on them. Should correspond to a terminal. Yeah, I know that. Hold on. Let's try that one and see whether that works. Uh, oh, oh, okay, so comparing all of these whiteboards, I can tell which executive. His nodes. Oh yeah, those are just timed events that happen throughout the world. Probably some, like, strong thing, like a monster or something they have to go out there and kill. Uh, okay, so I'm assuming... Wait, what does this one say? It's just one side, one highlighted... One black side, one highlighted side, so... I think this one? I this think? Whiteboard drawings may be important. I know, Marshall, stop giving me hints. I know what I'm doing. Uh, third one is a big black square, I think. There was another whiteboard up here, wasn't there? Let me quickly check. Yep, there was. Oh, wait, hold on. That means... Wait, this is Terminal 4, correct? So, yeah, so I should be... Yeah, I should be using this one, correct. Okay, so I just need to do the rest. I'm guessing, ter I'm, so I'm guessing this is Terminal 5. Uh, do I have a 5? I guess it's just to use the one that I have left. Uh, okay, let's check out Terminal Terminal 3. Should Looks be like this one. Working on something to do with these symbols. And then this one? Okay, let me let me just go through this order again, because... Uh, okay, so 1. Correct. Yeah, and 4 should be... F I don't have that cu punch card, though. 4, hold on. Then 2 should be that one. Yep, 3 is the big big square in the center four is either like one side of it is black or it is that one in which i have so it's that one okay okay i think i think i should be good what are the symbols mean i don't know but uh let's find out nope it doesn't work damn it <laughs> Uh, okay, but I must have the order messed up somehow. Okay, so one. Yeah, so we have this. We know this one is the first one because it shows up twice. Uh, I don't think I have that punch card though. Two should be this one because it shows up like that once and we don't see anything else related to it, I don't think. So three should be this way. Let me go upstairs to the second whiteboard and see what the hell. Uh, if we affect this. Um, so this is number four, right? Actually, no, let me take, let's take this card away. Uh, this one should be, it should, it should be that one, but it's not letting me, hmm. Let, let, let me just grab all the cards again and, oh, damn it. It's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Grab all the cards and then we'll work out what the hell to do from here. Okay, Try so... different combinations. One of them has to work. So the first one should be, yeah, should be the nuke symbol. Changing variables too strong. Maybe I, maybe it's that same order that I, that that I had at the beginning. Except I could, 
except I swap over the second and third cards. So instead of that being here, this one goes here, that one, this one goes there, this is the last one, so, um, wait, oh wait, and then, um, I could use, so I do have that, yeah, okay, so I do, so this is number five, right? So this should be there, wait, no, this is number four, but yeah, but I tried this one with that last time, so this, maybe this one's number, maybe this new one's number five? I don't know. It's a lot of fiddling around and messing around with all of these variables. Beep, nope. It didn't work. Okay, let's keep the four and five as they are, but let's swap around two and three and see what happens. Because I'm thinking the problem here lies with the two, with the second and third terminals. So, whoops, we go over here, do this, and then... Beep. No. Interesting. Uh, you know what's the only variable? Okay, so I've swapped over that one and that one too. So, the US, the only variable I haven't changed, I haven't changed the first card. So, give me you. So, it might be that one or it might be the other one that's in the whiteboard upstairs. What is the other one on the whiteboard upstairs? Oh, it's still the nuke symbol. Hmm, that's strange. So, it's either. This was like maybe it's this one. Maybe this one should go here. Oops. Since that's number four, maybe let's just try that. It's gonna be a lot of trial and error. Oh boy, considering that this is a grand total of five cards in five different places, that is a lot of different combinations. Like, if you if you look at it in terms of probability. Okay. Yeah, I could just brute force this, but um, I don't think it's a, it is meant to be brute forced. <laughs> the cards are falling in- the cards are coming back to my inventory in a specific order as well, which is- Weird. Maybe I know. Maybe I should just try putting it, putting the cards in the in the order that it's go going back into my inventory. So this should be four. I'm not sure if it just fills up any blank spaces or not. This is five. Maybe, just maybe. I don't know if it does. If this doesn't work, I'm, oops, I'm completely stumped. That. This. I mean, it's probably the only other, other combination I haven't tried yet. Nope, doesn't work. Okay, give me this. Okay, so I haven't changed the number one card yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap it out for every other terminal. Like that. Oop, did it work? Oops. Nope. Okay. Uh, just gonna, I'm just going to keep... I'm just going to continue going down the line, putting this card into all of the other terminals where it would make sense. Well, I mean, where I say where it'll make sense. Nope. Damn it, that's not what I meant. Which one doesn't have a card again? Oh, yeah, this one. Oh, and then think damn it what am i missing feedback loop so maybe that one is supposed to be number five okay so the one with one side that is fully black not that one he no not this one it's oh yeah okay so it's upstairs yeah it, this is probably like a puzzle with a very simple solution i'm just too stupid to get it so maybe that one's supposed to be number four and the number five is supposed to be like the one that the is this one uh so like this one goes here, maybe? Uh, and then, like, I think... I think this one and the other and that one, yeah, are supposed to be in the two and the three. And this one is supposed to be a, the number one, and then this one is the one that I have is the number five, I think. Number four, rather. Man, if you guys in the chat have any any ideas on how to on how else to do this... That just made a sound before I paused it. I think I got it. Oh, I got it! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, it only took me like 10 minutes to do that anyway. Oh, it broke. The prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. We need more black rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab, down in the Black Rock Processing Site and Maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me Director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Faden. Here, you'll need this keycard. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base in Executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. 
I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. <laughs> 